live q and A. I'm Chris. This is Yellow Productions. I do travel guides that are fun, informative, entertaining. And today, many of us around the world are indeed social distancing ourselves. And so I thought we could all be social from a distance today. I look forward to hanging out with all of you fellow explorers for about the next 30 minutes, answering your questions as part of a series of live streams I'm doing uh, this week. I've got one more coming up tomorrow on Thursday this week, which will be focused on how the future of restaurants is going to change uh, once we're done with this current pandemic. So uh, if you are watching this on Wednesday and it's not yet Thursday, well, make sure you're subscribed. You click the bell to turn on notifications so you get notified of that future live stream. And you can check out my other ones on Monday and Tuesday. Links in the description below in case you missed those. And by the way, like all live streams, I'll be giving away a Yellow Productions Crew t-shirt. And uh, so to a lucky winner on this video. Um, all right, so uh, starting with questions, the first question that was asked was right here from Real Fishing. He asked if places like Vegas and Seattle are getting hit hard economy-wise, or is it not as bad as some? I think both those places are getting hit hard economy-wise. I would think Vegas more than Seattle. Seattle has a bunch of tech companies, so a lot of the people work for Amazon, Microsoft. They can stay at home. Vegas, on the other hand, is entirely pretty much tourism dependent, and so Vegas is really suffering right now. Most of the casinos have said uh, they can only keep people on their payrolls for a couple more weeks before they have to just uh, furlough or let go all of their employees. Uh, Bryce Kelly asks the second question, and it is, hey Chris, do you want a second kid? Do you want a boy or a girl? Well, uh, so for those of you who don't know, recently we had a daughter. She's just about three months old. We call her our uh, little princess or our little explorer, and I think right now we're good with one. Right now a three-month-old is a handful all in of herself, uh, and so she's special just the way she is. Uh, question, and by the way, because uh, it's hard to keep up with all the questions, if you want to make sure I answer your question to anybody who's asking it, make sure you put a question mark at the end of your question, because I'm specifically scanning the comments for question marks. All right, uh, so question, am I getting anxious being inside so much? Um... I do miss the outside, I will say that. I mean, we can still go out once a day for exercise here in Southern California, but, um, you know, it's not like great hikes, it's not the beach, because the beaches are closed, uh, and so it would certainly be nice to go about life again, but what we're doing right now is super important to make sure we, like, more of us don't get sick, so we are definitely uh, embracing the situation uh, we have as much as we can. Um, Bryce asks, uh, if I think I'll ever go to Malaysia, it's very nice there. I, I would like to go to Malaysia. Uh, we've been to Singapore a number of times. I love the food in Singapore. A lot of the food in Singapore is Malaysian food. Uh, it would definitely be cool to see the Petronas Towers. They're just, uh, you know, the flights aren't as cheap to go to Malaysia as they are to Singapore. So that's why we often end up in Singapore. Uh, Big Chungus Bun asks, if we ever went to Cosmo World in Yokohama, we have not been to Cosmo World. What is Cosmo World? Uh, am I missing out on something? Henry asks, hi Chris, if time travel to the past was possible, what era would you love to experience? I truly hope time travel to the past will be possible. Henry, this is the best question I have had in the series of Q&As I've done over the last couple weeks, so you get a gold star just for asking this question. And I think I would love to go back to the era of like, steam locomotive like steam locomotive when people dressed up in like Victorian attire to ride the train I think that would be cool just to experience some of those cross-country trains when train travel uh, was kind of cool particularly in the US now it's Amtrak and so it's uh, it's particularly sad Hunter asks I'm going to fly to Salt Lake City I have all three major airlines in the US available to fly with who should I fly with um, the one that has the least connections, all direct flights, uh, I like it, if you don't have status on any of the airlines, I would pick Delta because Delta has the best uh, on time record generally and is generally of the big three considered the best airline. 
although they have the worst rewards program. So if you want elite treatment and awards, that's not Delta, but if you're just picking one flight to go one place, and Salt Lake City is Delta's major hub, so I think Delta would have more flights. Jaden asks if the U.S. is going to close its border to non-citizens. You know, we may get there. I mean, the U.S., uh, has, cert has advised that all U.S. citizens don't travel, uh, and I could see us at some point, if this continues to keep getting out of hand, to close the border entirely. The land border has been closed between the U.S. and Canada, um, so we'll, uh, we'll see what that uh, ends up with. Clown Car 66 says, hello, Mr. Yellow, hello, Mr. Clown Car, and he asks if uh, I've ever been to China. Uh, yes, I went to Beijing. Uh, we spent uh, about five days in Beijing. If you haven't seen that video, you can search for Beijing Yellow Productions. We visited the um, Great Wall and all those big touristy things that you would do. Um, Real Fishing comments about how things are trending, saying, I thought we're getting better with stores, but this Friday our area Costco is limiting two persons per membership to enter the store. Uh, yeah, I think that's something they're rolling out at least nationwide in the U.S., though uh, I, stores are indeed getting less busy. Um, I was reading some statistics that said like two weeks ago, Target and Walmart were like at 300% of regular crowd levels, though actually last week they were fairly uncrowded. Uh, I visited Costco on a Sunday, and it was not all that busy. Sean asks, how many hotels in Japan have hotel pools? The big city hotels, not very many, and the Japanese aren't super into swimming pools. If they do have swimming pools, then uh, they actually make people wear swim caps if they're in the swimming pools and goggles. Uh, so um, not that many. Uh, certainly less in Japan than in the U.S. Um, dun, dun, dun. Uh, Fallout Fan 66 says, Hi Chris, have you ever stayed at the New York, New York in Vegas? Me and my girlfriend were thinking about staying there next time we go. I was hoping to get your thoughts. I've never stayed in one of the rooms in the New York, New York, New York, uh, but I actually like the hotel quite a bit. I think it's a good location. Um, the price is fairly reasonable, um, so I would consider, you know, if you get like 80 or or $100 for the room rate, that that's a pretty good place to stay. Um... Dallas Cook uh, asks, if, uh, since I'm in California and it's illegal, have I tried any of the dispensary marijuana? No, I have not. Mm, let's see. There was a question that is now on the second page that I have to go to. The High Road asks if a lot of my regular commenters are also daytime co-workers. I don't think that many of them are on the live streams. I know there's a few of them in there, uh, but uh, unless they're all under pseudonyms and I don't know, uh, I don't know what their YouTube nicknames are. But that's the fun part about the internet and anonym anonymity. The Uniplex says, thank you for the live stream and stay healthy. Thank you, Uniplex, for watching. Um, Larry asks, where would I like to go when this is all over? Uh, we hope to go to Japan uh, and Taiwan and, uh, you know, we talked about going to Thailand again, though we really want to visit uh, some of the national parks too. Uh, Sean asks, hey Chris, what is your favorite ride at Disney? Uh, so at Disneyland in California, one of, I mean, probably Space Mountain is our favorite ride. Uh, then our second favorite ride is a Disney California Adventure. It's Toy Story Midway Mania, the one where they uh, shoot the laser guns. MT asks if I'm demonstrating the Floby today. Uh, Floby, uh, we talked about it two live streams ago. That's how I cut my hair. That's the way to cut your hair in a pandemic. Uh, not yet, uh, but something to do. Big Chungus asks if I plan to go to the Olympics. Probably not, because uh, I think... Tokyo will be too expensive and busy when the Olympics are, so we'll go uh, either before or afterwards. Um, Amy says, would anyone who has allergies to fish and steam food still be able to find great food in Japan, Thailand, etc.? Absolutely, Amy. Um, you know, I think there is this perception that Japanese food is entirely seafood, but I think that's entirely incorrect. Uh, check out my video, if you haven't watched it yet, uh, that I just published like two weeks ago on the six must-eat foods in Fukushima, Japan. You will notice that uh, that's almost like entirely not fish uh, in those particular dishes. Uh, you can also check out my video on the five Maybe it's not five best cheap eats, but it's the best cheap eats in Tokyo, Japan. Uh, and there's a lot of non-fish, non-seafood items as well. Uh, Thailand, same way. Tanner says, uh, with the Southwest service 
to Hawaii taking place for several months. How's the response and would it be worth it? Um, I've, I've heard nothing bad. I've heard just people enjoying it because the prices are right. Uh, so, um, you know, if, if you get the right price, then it's good, though they're not always that cheap. Sometimes the Southwest prices have actually been more expensive than the United and American Airlines prices. So make sure you check the price of the other airlines before you dive into Southwest. Uh, Hunter says, I have been to Seoul. Uh, what was your favorite part of Seoul? Uh, hmm, favorite part of Seoul. I think one of the things we enjoyed the most was wearing the traditional Korean hanbok, which is their traditional Korean attire, uh, and going around some of the old national palaces. Uh, I think that was probably one of our favorite parts of Seoul. It was also neat to go to Gangnam, uh, to the shopping mall where they shot the Gangnam style, Psy shot the Gangnam style music video, and they have this big, um, big uh, gold statue of the wrists going like this to honor Psy. The Uniplex asks if I've been to Japan during the cherry blossoms and was it really busy? Uh, yes and yes. We've been to Japan numerous times for cherry blossom seasons. Uh, we have a number of cherry blossom videos from Japan. Uh, and yes, it is busy if you're in like Tokyo or Kyoto. Uh, my recommendation would be if you want to see the cherry blossoms to like go to other reason regions of Japan that don't have as many tourists. Uh, one that we went to like almost 10 years ago uh, over 10 years ago was in uh, Fukushima Prefecture to visit this tree called the Miharu Takizakura. It is a 1,000 year old cherry blossom tree. It was truly amazing. Uh, Stephen asks if I've been working on any spring cleaning projects. It seems like a good time for it. Um, I, I cleaned up my desk to do some of the live streams here. I mean, I sorry, I cleaned up the fireplace to do some of my live streams up here. Uh, we haven't really dove into any big spring cleaning projects, it does seem like a good time for it. Jaden, uh, other than, I should say, other than like YouTube channel cleanup, uh, I have been going in there and helping like organize playlists and some of those things. Uh, Jaden asks if I've ever been to Perth, which is in Australia. I have never been to Perth. Jaden, should I go to Perth? In Australia, I've been to Sydney, Melbourne, uh, and Adelaide. Those are the three cities in Australia I've been to. Uh, Twitting Sarah wants to know, what's the first thing you'll do once the lockdown in your area is over? Probably go for a nice walk on one of the beaches that's currently closed right now. Um, Albert uh, gives us a quarantine update, and this is kind of like, yeah, this is a big trend across the U.S. now. States enacting uh, that if people fly into their state, that people have to quarantine for 14, 15 days. Hawaii was the first one to do that. Florida's announced that for people from New York and uh, the New England area. So I'm not surprised that uh, Nevada is the next one in line. Brandon wants to know, uh, what has been your favorite trip ever? Wow. Uh, I've enjoyed all of our trips, and so it's really hard to pick one in particular. Um, you know, I think certainly the one, like, our favorite, my first trip to Japan with OC Girl in 2004 was definitely the most eye-opening and eye-widening, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it was that one. Uh, I would say that was the one that uh, gave me the travel bug, because before that, uh, I'd only been like to Mexico and then to Czech Republic, where my uh, mom is from, and then like we like laid over in London. I hadn't really, I hadn't done any travel in Asia, uh, and so that was the beginning of many travels in Asia. So that's got to be uh, that's got to be the best one. Phillips Family Vlogs asks, "You give a lot of money saving tips that help me a lot. What's your favorite vacation spot for small budgets?" Hmm, favorite vacation spot for small budgets. Um, actually, I think Southern California, I think San Diego is actually a, a decent city to go to that doesn't cost a lot of money. Uh, another option, if you like national parks, um, we really enjoyed our visit to Zion National Park. Go to Zion, you go to national parks, they don't cost all that much. Uh, it depends what you, it depends what you like uh, in a place, but those are a couple. Uh, Kathy has made it. I'm here. Welcome, Kathy. Thanks for tuning in. And today I'm drinking Earl Grey tea again in a Winnie the Pooh cup. Uh, and somebody commented on yesterday's archive of the live stream and said, uh, Picard would say at the, um, at the replicator, Picard from Star Trek would say, uh, tea, Earl Grey hot in a Winnie the Pooh cup 
with a slightly better British accent. So, I think that was fun. By the way, we've been, uh, O.C. Girl and I, we've been watching the Star Trek Picard show, uh, which has been pretty fun. We are on episode six, I think. Uh, so that's a lot of fun. Uh, Megan wants to know if I visited uh, CERN when we were in Switzerland. Um, no, no, we didn't visit CERN. Should we? Uh, we and I know that that's like that's like a that's like a like a thing, right? Uh, but that's uh, no. We visited uh, city-wise. We visited Zurich, Bern. Uh, we visited the uh, also the mountain region that my name escapes me right now, but the town particularly is Wingen for the two peaks, the Jungfrau and the Schiltorn. I'm sure my pronunciations were poor. Larry asks, which casinos have pools in Vegas? Um, uh, many casinos have pools in Vegas. I would say, like, pretty much every strip casino has a pool in Las Vegas. Yoshi asks, if I have a tutorial on the Washington Metro. Uh, I do. It is, uh, not out yet. So, uh, I will release that before travel returns to DC. Uh, it's edited. It's just not uploaded. Um... Todd uh, says, uh, do I feel when Vegas casinos reopen tight slots or loose to entice people back? I don't think the gambling odds are going to change. I think we'll see cheaper rates and food and that sort of stuff um, for a little bit. And then, I'm, you know, I think they'll actually have to keep rates low for a while. Uh, Paul said, uh, no question, just hi from Adelaide, South Australia. Hi, Paul from Adelaide. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, Tomas says, would you consider yourself middle class? I would... I would consider myself working middle class, though there's always a discussion about is middle class blue collar or white collar. Uh, my background's in computer science, so I'm definitely more of a uh, right white collar. I use video cameras and I type on computers, so I, uh, I'm, not, I'm not as handy as I probably could be. Uh, Jeff wants to know if we'll go to the Olympics in 2020 when they'll be in Los Angeles. Um, wow, that was loud. Um, we... Uh, We'll probably go to some of the Olympics festivities. Uh, I don't know if we'll actually be able to get into any of the actual Olympics events. Audiophilia asks, what's your favorite alcoholic beverage of choice? So I'm not like a huge fan of alcoholic beverages. Uh, I would say um, we've really taken an appreciation for sake, particularly strawberry flavored sake. Uh, and also if I drink beer, I do like the Japanese ones, particularly Asahi on draft. Jimmy asks, what's my favorite buffet in Las Vegas? Uh, the Cosmopolitan, the Bellagio, the Wynn, and the Aria. Um, Jake McShane asks, is there anything you, is there anywhere you've been that has great food that you really can't get anything comparable in America? I feel, uh, in particular, uh, like Singapore, I feel like the food in Singapore, you cannot get comparable food in America, particularly, uh, laksa, which is a uh, Malaysian soup that's hard to find here. And even the chicken rice, like the Hainanese chicken rice, many people have told me, Chris, there's these great places in LA, in the San Gabriel Valley. I've been to check out every one that every person has suggested, and none of them are as good as the ones in Singapore. Uh, Fallout uh, gives a suggestion, and I love this suggestion. He says, maybe while you're stuck at home, you should make another reaction video to people's assumptions about you. Fallout fan, great suggestion. Uh, I will do that. So be on the lookout for a post where I'll ask for some assumptions, and I will react to them. Um, let's see. Uh, I think we have... Uh I think we have someone who wants to join in to the live stream right now, and uh, people always ask about our our uh, explorer and our little princess, and so she wants to join in and say hi, and uh, whoa, this is her right now, and I'm not sure that she knows how to like go up and look at the camera, so she'll probably be looking all around, weighs just about 12 pounds over three months, come on and get taller here. All right, and she's got her great Yellow Productions bib. We've not yet put this on the uh, Yellow Productions store, but that's to come. So right there, and this is her first live stream moment. So everybody say hi to the little princess. All right, no, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, going back down. All right. Um. 
Osvaldo uh, says, any tips about how to save money on travel? I have two videos all about that. I've got one video about how to save money on flights, and I've got a second video about how to save money on hotels. If you go to my main channel page, and then you scroll down, there's a, like, a, like a tips section. Um, that has my videos about uh, how to save money on those things. Uh, let's see, Phillips Family Vlogs says, uh, hi, baby, to our little explorer. Taylor says, she's so cute. Uh, Stinger says, hi. Jean says, hi. Scottman895 says, hi. Lots of people said, hi. So, thank you very much, everybody, for saying hi, uh, and, uh, that she is a cutie. Uh, and Jay says, they grow fast, enjoy it. They sure do. Uh, luckily... You know, I mean, they grow fast, but, you know, she grows at a speed that allows us to, like, work on our, work on our muscles, right? Um, okay. Uh, let me go back in the thing to, um, da, 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 da. let's see. Uh, Brandon says, uh, what about Airbnb in Asia? I don't like Airbnbs anywhere. I don't stay in Airbnbs. I like hotels because I like breakfast and I like front desks and if something's broken they can fix it I like it's a place that I know where it's gonna be so uh, I don't I don't do Airbnbs um, look and tone getting some cardio in uh, like we walk and I ride a bike so today uh, actually I had to go to the supermarket and I rode my bike there so um, that's a good way to combine some exercise and an essential activity Oh, uh, Megan comments, uh, great for small budget travel is Prague and Budapest. Great suggestions. Also, another great European destination for small budgets is uh, Portugal. Um, let's see, Jean said, do you grocery run or do you use online services during shelter in place? Uh, we do grocery runs, though we try to not do them all that often. Um, maybe like once every three, four days or once a week. Uh, and uh, some stuff from like Costco, actually I just ordered some paper towels from Costco, they finally had it on the line, so I was able to uh, stock up on paper towels. Because uh, when I went to the store Costco on Sunday, they had no paper towels. Scottman895 says, what are some national parks in the United States you would love to check out next? The next one I'd love to check out, because uh, I've never been there, and it might seem weird, but it's the Grand Canyon National Park. I've not been to the Grand Canyon National Park. Uh, Tanner asked for the most underrated and overrated countries in Europe. Uh, so I did a whole video about like um, overrated destinations, but I think underrated, I think Lisbon is underrated, like Portugal as a place is underrated. The Czech Republic, uh, like I love the Czech Republic, I'm being from the Czech Republic, uh, lots of people go there, but I think that's uh, a great one to go to. Uh, Kelly says, any updates on the lost Topher? Sadly, Kelly, we have not heard any updates uh, on the lost Topher. Um, Yoshi asks, what computer do you have? Oh, which one? I have so many computers. Um, the one that's back here, the fireplace computer, this is one, uh, I built this one myself. Uh, so this is like a build. Uh, Laptop-wise, sitting over here to the right that I've got the um, actual, like, like, live chat screen on, and when I know that, the, like, the, the live stream's doing healthy, this is a MacBook Pro. This is the MacBook Pro that has, like, the touch bar on it. Uh, and then the computer right here that I'm actually doing the live stream itself on is a Acer Predator 17-inch laptop. Uh, if you want to see more about that particular one, I have a link in the description below to my live streaming setup so you can see more about the laptop that I use to do the live streams. Sean wants to know, uh, in Japan, why is the reason there are less pools? Uh, I think they just don't have as big of a culture of swimming, but two, they really like bathing, and so hotels instead of swimming pools will have uh, onsen baths, which are hot spring baths. Uh, so check, if you haven't seen it, check out my video about how to onsen, O-N-S-E-N, -E and it talks all about the Japanese bathing culture, so I think they prefer that to swimming. Uh, and also, Japan, they don't have a lot of land, like parcels are pretty small, hotels are really tall, and the swimming pool takes up a lot of land. Um, Echo Deck asked me, who's my favorite TV travel presenter? Uh, yeah, you name the two of them right there. Uh, I'd say number one, Anthony Bourdain, and absolutely number two, Rick Steves. 
Um, you know, some people have commented on my channel that says, uh, Chris, you kind of remind me of a Rick Steves from Asia, uh, and I consider that a huge compliment because I think Rick Steves gives really good information, and so if I can do that just for a different place, then that's pretty cool, too. Uh, Dennis R. says, why yellow? Why not orange? Uh, I answered that yesterday in the live stream, and also I have a video titled Yellow Productions uh, Frequently Asked Questions that I dive into that in detail about where the name from the channel came from. Um, Gene says, which credit card has the best offer right now and will those offers still be there at the end of this year? Uh, the card I applied for actually yesterday, because I think the offer ends today, it's the Chase United business card. It has a 100,000 mile sign up bonus. 100,000 mile sign up bonuses are always really good uh, and I think we will have less sign up bonuses uh, in the future. Tomas asks if I have any fear of flying. Not really. I don't really have a fear of flying. Uh, I mean, you know, if there's like a lot of turbulence and lightning, then I can be worried, but I, I wouldn't consider myself to have any like unrational fears. Uh, Jake says, if money were no object, would you get a vacation home? If you could get a vacation home anywhere in the world, where would it be? Uh, it would probably be beachfront in Hawaii someplace. I think that'd be cool. Or like center of Tokyo, but I feel like there's plenty of great hotels in Tokyo, but there's not as many great beachfront hotel, like beachfront hotels in Hawaii. Uh, NVRO Media says people should check out the Bahia Resort Hotel in San Diego. It is nice. Uh, thank you for that note. All right. Uh, so let me, uh, let me go ahead and ask the question for... Uh, giving out the Yellow Productions t-shirt today. Uh, so my question for you, and this comes from our Fukushima series, so this is going to be another one of those, you got to be a good fan and have watched some of the other Yellow Productions videos to get this answer correct. Uh, but when we were in Fukushima, which was the last place we traveled before this all travel ban went down, uh, we picked some fruit. What kind of fruit were we picking? And if you can answer that question of what fruit we were picking in Fukushima, well, then you will win a Yellow Productions Crew t-shirt shipped to you anywhere in the world. And if you're not the lucky winner today, well, I'll be doing a live stream tomorrow. You can win on tomorrow's live stream. If you don't win this week, uh, you can pick one up too. I've got a shop on Etsy that has these shirts. I'm going to make sure the bib that our little explorer was wearing uh, so that you can pick those up too. The baby onesies are there as well. That is in the description. So the question is, what was the fruit? I see Fred said uh, durian, and uh, he was the first person to name a fruit. That is not the right answer, though that's pretty funny. Uh, the winner, and a lot of people have said it, but it's got to be the first person. And the first person is A. Stevens. A. Stevens said uh, the fruit was strawberry. Yes, we were picking strawberries in Fukushima. They were super delicious strawberries. Uh, we really enjoyed the strawberries, and we enjoyed picking them. It was like 1,500 yen. Uh, for like 30 minutes of picking strawberries, and they were super sweet. So, A. Stevens, you win a Yellow Productions Crew t-shirt. Uh, send me a message on my Facebook page, link in the description below, or an email to chris at yellow.net with two W's, Y-E-L-L-O-W-W dot -W net, and uh, let me know what size shirt you want and where you want me to send it. Um, Let's see, I'm gonna take a few more questions uh, before we wrap up. I, our Aaron uh, wants to know in Canada, where would I like to go? Uh, Vancouver is the next place in Canada I'd like to go. I'd also like to visit Toronto. Um, and uh, Larry asks, uh, what's the biggest and best pool in Las Vegas? Biggest and best pool in Las Vegas? Uh, I think the biggest one is the pool at the Mandalay Bay. Uh, best depends on what you enjoy. Uh, and uh, Ricky says uh, he thought he got it first. You know, there's always, there's always this about who gets it first. And uh, so I pick based on my screen who I see. And uh, as you can see right here on my screen, if that focuses in, then the first one and the bottom is the first that is strawberry. That's what it looks like. Fred said durian and Ricky, you're up there, but you're like number four or five. So Ricky, you were pretty close, not trying to uh, rob you. So uh, that's it. Uh, whoop. 
Thank you, Ricky. And thank you for about the about the 20 people that gave the right answer. You are a fantastic fan. So thank you for watching my Fukushima series. Uh, and with that, that brings us to our 30 minutes. All good live streams begin on time and end on time. And so with that, I don't like to say goodbye because I'm going to see you in the next video. The next video is going to be tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to be doing a live stream talking all about how restaurants are going to change. Uh, that'll be probably a little bit of a longer live stream. So uh, tune into that one. Uh, what time is it going to be? Well, make sure to subscribe. Click the bell, turn on notifications. It'll be between 5 and 9 p.m. Uh, and I look forward to fielding all of your questions that you didn't get to ask today or that I didn't get to answer, including Trina's question, which I'll answer tomorrow. Chris, do you think teleportation will be possible in our light time? That is the second best question that I've had. We talked about time travel, now teleportation. I hope we can talk about maybe werewolves and vampires tomorrow. All right, see you then. <laughs>